What's up guys, it's your boy Goggles back with another video. Please do me a favor, subscribe, like, let's get into it. I want to get bring to y'all the next, your newest NBA, uh, NBA MVP candidate. I won't, I'm not going to say next, I'm sorry. The newest NBA, uh, NBA MVP candidate. His name is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Most people don't know him. He is from Greece. Uh, he Last year was his breakout year. Made it to the All-Star team. Averaged 20 points. Uh, all that, but... Yo, Giannis Antetokounmpo, I'm just show y'all some of his like, highlights. Giannis is such a great player. Like I don't, I, I mean, you, there's no other player that uh, that's you know in the league like him. He's so long, he can dribble, he can shoot, he can play defense, he can do it all for you. And he's like a floor, he's like a, almost like a, a LeBron, a mini LeBron. And, but he's actually bigger than LeBron, but he can. I believe that if there's anybody in the league right now that could be the next LeBron, I believe it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just because I mean, look at this. Like his his ability to run down the floor and just you know. His wingspan is like is like eight feet maybe I believe. I mean this man is really just unstoppable. I mean when he gets to the when he gets to the rim it's like nothing you can do. The only thing that's stopping him when he gets to the rim is a charge. And you know what I believe that you know will make an impact in his game is if he's just up to shooting a little bit. If he could if he was shooting uh, to a level that you know he could confidently pull up anytime he wanted to. I believe that he would be indeed you know I believe he could someday be the best player in the NBA right. Uh, in the NBA, uh, whenever he gets to that point, but he's a good like a, like I said, he can do everything: pass, for you, shoot, uh, playmaker. Look at that blocking shot. His wingspan is just too long. He makes the uh, shot difficult. And if he can match this, also his post move, uh, he's learned how to do his uh, how to do a fadeaway. Uh, in, a, in a couple of games, he won. I know he won one game by doing a, a post fadeaway. Uh, Kobe style, and if he can master stuff like that, you know, those little things, you know, jump shot and stuff like that, uh, you know, his, his ability to get in the lane, you know, that's always going to be there. His athleticism is always going to be there. His ability to dunk is going to be there. But like I said, that jump shot, that's his next aspect that he has to get better at because once you get that jump shot going, you can go, he can go to the paint anytime he wants to. He'll be unstoppable. Like, he's already pretty unstoppable, but his, his jump shot, his jump shot limits him a little bit just because he hasn't reached that, reached that level where he just can pull up like this right here, you know, every every time or whenever he wanted to. But he's he's six eleven. He's six eleven can dribble, and he's long. Like, what else can you do? I mean, if he pulls up in your face, it's like you can't do nothing but hope he misses. If he misses a shot, it's because it's, it's his fault. And when he comes to the lane, honestly, I wouldn't want to be right there. Yeah, I mean, look at that. They're not gonna try to block that. You can't even block it. I don't. I don't know a person in the league that can guard on Giannis right now. I don't. I don't think there's anybody that can truly guard Giannis. Now I believe that you know if you, you might can lean, make him lean towards doing this and doing that. But at the end of the day, he's not going to be stopped. He, I mean, honestly, he's just not going to be stopped. And I believe that he can honestly be the next LeBron. And uh, golly. If he gets to that point where, I, like I said, his jump shot is more consistent, he will be an MVP. He will be an MVP, indeed, and, and he will be one of the best players ever. And oh my goodness, he will be the best player uh, in the league whenever he reaches that potential that he uh, that he can get to. And then this is the thing: this man is only, I believe, 24, maybe 22, 23. He's right. He's have, he hasn't even reached his prime, and, and he's already this good. Uh, so you know, honestly, I didn't see him being uh, being one of these type of players. Cause honestly, when he he was in the uh, dunk contest uh, not too long ago, uh, I know it was I think it was him, Serge Ibaka. Uh, I, I can't I can't exactly remember. I know it was about three three or four years ago, and you know. He was just this long kid that could, uh, you know, he could, he could, he was athletic. He could dunk the ball, but uh, you know, I, I've never seen. He, he did. He tried to do tight moves that he should have, shouldn't have been doing. Uh, things like behind the back moves and all this. And Jason Kidd honestly benched him. And it was funny because Jason Kidd, uh, he actually questioned Jason Kidd like, "Who is this man? And, you know, who is this boy trying to bench me? Trying to, you know, go out there and do what I do?" And he looked up Jason Kidd and saw all he did, and he was like, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, I better shut up. <laughs> this dude that did a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, it's, and that's the thing. He really respects Jason Kidd. I like that. He's, he's coachable. And that just makes him even uh, a, a lot, way, way better. But, yeah, uh, you know, even LeBron said a few things about him that's, you know, great about his game. And like I said, you know, his game is really improving. Like, stuff like that. Like, that touch, uh, post shot. Like, you don't see that everywhere. And if he can, if he can develop so many aspects that, you know, he can be just so uh, diverse in how he can go out there and score, how he can play. I mean, that just makes him 
unbelievable and unstoppable in all aspects of the game, honestly. Uh, but the main thing, honestly, was, uh, I don't know how many times, honestly. But uh, his things that he needs to probably improve on, I would say, is jump shot. Uh, second thing would probably be his, uh, I say, his post play, which is, you know, kind of jump shot, uh, but basically off shot. If he, he needs to really focus more on offense this season, because if he can match that off, if he can get, uh, improve offensively, I believe that his defense is, you know, his defense is you know, going to be, I don't know if he can get better. I mean, he can obviously move his feet better, but uh, I guess get more defensive drills, you know, being able to react better, uh, react to different stuff, but his defense, you know, he's 6'11", and he can move. He's 6'11", and he can move, so defense is kind of like something that will always kind of get better. It's just something that he's just going to have to want to do. Uh, but because he, I mean, he can honestly, he can't guard everybody, but he has a pretty, you know, a pretty good uh, ability to guard just because He's so long, and so whenever you shoot the ball, it's like you really have. Even somebody like Kyrie Irving, who can score on just about anybody, I believe he would have a hard time uh, scoring against Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, as much as he scores on everybody else. Uh, but yeah, I mean Giannis Antetokounmpo, I, I really see a, a superstar player. Uh, at least two or three years, I believe he should be an uh, MVP. No, I wouldn't say two or three years. I would say, I would say two or three years. I would. I would say two years from now, depending on how he improves, he should be a uh, one of the top MVP candidates. I don't know if that's top five, top three, I don't know. But I believe, you know, this season right here, he should be going into this season, uh, depending on how he plays. You know, if he plays pretty well, if he plays better than last season, I believe he should be a candidate for the MVP. And obviously, he's going to get better because I mean, he, he really works on his game and he's gotten so much better over the years. But uh, yeah, I believe him. I believe I see him being an MVP candidate. And I don't know, depending on you know how things go with everybody else. You know, you still got Russell Westbrook, you got James Harden, uh, Kevin Durant. You still got them in the league. So you know, I can't really say two or three years he's going to get MVP. But he can make a legitimate shot uh, of making of getting to the MVP, uh, getting that MVP trophy uh, sometime in his career. Uh, like I said, he's good at pass, you know, defense, shooting. Can, shooting can improve. He's, he's okay right now, but shooting can improve. Uh, getting to the line easily. I mean, he gets to the rim so easy. So you know, it's not it's not a uh, not a question that he can get to the line. But uh, you know, I see a lot of, a lot of improvements that he can improve on. But you know, there are minor improvements that you know all all players get better at. Uh, especially when they want to get better and they're training as hard as he does, I'm sure. And you know, so hey, look at that. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't get that a six eleven uh, small forward going through a lane, you know, dribbling the ball like he's a, a point guard or a point forward and doing the things he does. But like I said, y'all, it's your boy Goggles, y'all. Please let me know what y'all think about Giannis right now and uh, and how he, how you think he'll uh, do in the upcoming season. Uh, please subscribe, like, and uh, I will catch y'all later.